Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to cover making our navbar responsive. What we mean by that is when we're resizing the browser, actually, I'll just show you what happened when I start resizing the browser. So we've got our navbar, and as you see, it is adjusting, but if you get to a screen size that's really small like this, the content, as you can see, doesn't look very good, and generally, it's it, you'll have it hidden with a menu button like that, but it isn't by default so to do that really simple if you just go to your code first of all you want to enclose everything inside your navbar so all of this inside a div I'm going to put a div here div close it off after the form tag let's indent this so it's easier to see and the div just needs a couple of classes and the first one is collapse Next one is navbar dash toggleable dash xs. And the xs part represents the screen size or the browser size, I should say. That's very crucial. It should be, I should, shouldn't really say screen size, I should say browser size because you could have your website on extra small even though you're on like an extra large screen because your browser has been resized. So on that, browser that is at a size of extra small only show I mean only collapse it then and only make it toggleable then otherwise show all of it but you can chain this access to the different sizes that you can see right here so large medium that sort of stuff pretty simple stuff really and now what we need to do is just add an ID and for this ID I'm going to put collapse navbar you can call it whatever you want we just need this for when we create a button now the, I'm pretty sure you've seen on websites those three lines which represent a menu that's what we're going to be adding so that just needs something to link to aka something to trigger so to create that button it's ridiculously simple we just put a button tag and inside here let's put ampersand hash 9776 semicolon don't worry this won't look dodgy or anything like that this will have the three lines that I was just talking about and this just needs a couple of classes first one is navbar dash toggle second one is hidden dash sm dash up so here's some interesting stuff right here we got hidden dash sm dash up this part sm stands for small so when your browser is at the small size and up don't show this button because the content is visible anything below that which is extra small where the content is actually hidden then show the button so you can easily mix and match these and the next thing we're just gonna set the type i'm gonna put button data dash toggle equals collapse so we're just telling it what sort of data it's toggling data dash target and for this put hash and the name of or the id of our div so if we just save that now go to our web browser refresh you might think it doesn't look different and it doesn't at this browser size but if I start resizing it as you can see now that I'm on a small browser size the content is now hidden and I get these three menu buttons menu lines so if I click on it the menu shows and if I click off it it disappears so if I click on it and I start resizing again it automatically adjusts and if I go back it goes back to the state that it was last in which is really really cool so that's it for a responsive navbar if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php there'll be a link in the description plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video please rate comment and subscribe as it really does help us understand whether you like this video whether you don't like this video and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day